Hi friends and thanks for tuning into this video. In this video we are going to do a myofascial release using our row glove but concentrating on the upper body. So all you need today is a mat and a row glove or foam roller whatever that you choose to have and we're going to start on the floor. So you're going to bring your foam roller or row glove, you're gonna set it down, you're gonna be on your side. We're going to just kind of target a little bit of our glutes and then work our way up. Um, so what you're going to do is you're gonna lay in the middle. If you have a row glove, it's that middle nodule here. We're gonna place our hip in the middle. Now in my um, previous video, I told you to never go in the actual joint itself. Um, what I mean by that is, our, on our femur, the greater trochanter, you're gonna feel it here on your hip, is this bone, this long side. I just don't want friends laying on that. Um, so if you take your roller, you can feel it, it's kinda of like a pinch. We're gonna go right above that to where those tight glute muscles are. So I always say start at the bottom and then work our way up. So my greater trochanter is right there. I don't wanna be there, so I'm gonna go a little up and I'm gonna stay away from that and I'm just gonna roll that roll glove all the way from my side to just above that greater trochanter. So down and up. You can have your legs in different positions if you'd like. This one's gonna add a little bit more pressure and you can even actually stack and hold the pressure here. If you have some muscle adhesions that need a deep pressure response, um, Again, you can roll, if that's too much pressure, then you can ease up and bend both those legs and work into that muscle. Now also I suggest kind of leaning your body, kind of opening up that chest a little bit, targeting the back here. If you see right from the side, you feel it, and then if you turn to the side, just a little rotation, you can feel that roll getting into new spots. And remember, we want 30 seconds to a minute and breathing. All right, let's switch sides. Starting out again, you can have both those legs bent, finding that spot where that greater trochanter is, where that hip goes into the hip joint, excuse me, the femur goes into the hip joint. And we're gonna go above that. And again, you can rotate back a little bit. If you need more intense, again, stack those feet, concentrating on a small area if you have some muscle adhesions there. And really, really putting pressure on, on those glutes there. Really digging in. It should be maybe a little uncomfortable, but not painful. into our low back. So we're going to go into a bridge position. So feet are flat on the floor. We're going to take that foam roller, taking that roll up. We're going to come up. We're going to take that roll up and we're going to put, um, we're going to put the larger part at the end of the roll up right underneath our low back. So our, our tailbone is going to sit in the little crevice right there, the first one here. And we're just going to relax. Now, if this is painful for you, 
than just going to a regular bridge without the foam roller or the roller. If you want, you can do gentle swaying back and forth. we're going to bring our feet up if you can and our feet are going to be at the very edge of our rogla and we're going to widen out those knees. This is going to help with those tight hips and again you can do a little side to side swaying or you can just stay stationary. Gently lower those feet down, taking the roll away. And then next what we're going to do, we're still going to be on our backs, feet flat on the floor. We are going to take this um, and we're going to place our spine right in the middle, in the little divot here. We're at the base of our shoulder blades. Now we're going to go from the base of our shoulder blades to the top of our shoulders. I recommend holding your head and neck if you have, um, you know, weak neck um, or some pain or irritation in there. Just holding your head and neck. And what you're going to do is we're just going to roll all the way to the top of our shoulders, not getting into that neck yet, and then down to our shoulder blades. Just a little past our shoulder blades, if you will. Now, depending on how intense you want this to be, you could just sit here and let the pressure go into those shoulder blades, maybe just rock back and forth a little bit if this is too much. You can also do this exercise against a wall. That will relieve some pressure. And you can go as slow as you'd like. and we're just going to go 
elbow forward and back. Now we're going to turn our forearms face up. to just get the side here. Palms are face down and we're just going side to side. And let's try the other side. Again, palms down. get my lats here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in the middle of that foam roller here. Um, I like to brace myself with that same arm side, um, but if this is, you know, not enough pressure, then you're more than welcome just to have that arm out. But I like to kind of stabilize it here. Now feet again can be stacked. I like to have one knee bent, one knee um, bent, but then also feet um, planted on the floor and just going up and down. If you need more intense, take that arm out and go side to side here. Rearrange myself here. And again, if you find a pressure point, find a spot, then just sit in it here, direct pressure on there. Breathing. If you want, again, a little bit more intense, straighten that bottom leg, bend that top leg. Ooh, finding those spots. Oh, yes. sides. We're just right, right below the armpit here. Straighten out that bottom arm if you need a little bit more pressure. And you may lean back a little bit, just slightly with those shoulders. 
And we're getting that foam roller towards the middle of the back. Finding that pressure, if you have any of those tender spots. There you go. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.